Lightning radio check. Loud and clear. Once I'm airborne in the demo, you guys can reach me here. Drone fighter jets, hypersonic attack planes, artificial intelligence, lasers, electronic warfare and sensors woven into the fuselage of an aircraft, are all areas of current technological exploration for the Air Force as it begins early prototyping for a new, sixth-generation fighter jet to emerge in the 2030s and 2040s. While the initiative, called Penetrating Counter Air, has been largely conceptual for years, Air Force officials say current prototyping and demonstrations are informing which technologies the service will invest in for the future. The Air Force is maturing technologies as well as assessing prototyping and demonstration activities as potential options, Air Force spokeswoman Captain Hope Cronin told Warrior Maven. Current work on a futuristic 6th Gen fighter, to come after and fly alongside upgraded F-35s, includes development of stealthy drone fighters, hypersonic flight, lasers, new precision weaponry and advanced AI able organized targeting data in milliseconds. While all of these things are of course key parts of the equation, the Air Force penetrating counter-air program is equally focused on information exchange itself as a defining element of future war. Such an approach, looking beyond isolated systems and weapons themselves, envisions expansive networked combat with war platforms operating as nodes in a larger warfare system of weapons and sensors working together in real time. This approach is one that views military operations in terms of holistic elements of an information shooter effect or complex. That will require a lot more going into the design of the next generation of combat aircraft than how fast and far it can fly, or what the numbers of weapons it can carry, retired Lt. Gen. David Deptula, former planner of the U.S. air attacks in Operation Desert Storm and current dean of the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Studies, told Warrior Maven in an interview, the program, highlighted in the Air Force's Air Superiority 2030 flight plan, envisions what Cronin referred to as a family of capabilities. We are investing in technologies so we can eventually prototype and gain the knowledge we need to make decisions whether or not to continue with a potential capability, directed by the Air Force Chief of Staff, Service Weapons Developers have been working in Enterprise Capability Collaboration ECCT, teams designed to pursue next-generation air superiority. Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works and Boeing's Phantom Works are all among a handful of industry developers already working on prototype 6th gen planes and advanced technologies, intended to align with key elements of the Air Force vision. The Air Force itself, while not yet decided upon a particular platform or fixed set of new technologies, is moving quickly beyond the conceptual realm into the active exploration of weapons, sensors, technologies and networks. Next generation stealth technology, for instance, is of course a large focus of the technical equation. Newer radar absorbing coating materials, improved IR suppressants or thermal signature management, evolved radar eluding configurations and acoustic reduction technologies offer a window into current areas of developmental focus. A 2013 essay by the NATO Parliamentary Assembly Science and Technology Committee discusses the evolution of advanced heat reduction technologies built into the skin of an aircraft. The Air Force B-21 Raider a new stealth bomber expected to emerge in the mid-2020s, is said by developers to incorporate a new generation of stealth, but very few details are available. Engine development is yet another area of major leap ahead technological focus, according to the NATO Parliamentary Assembly report. Emerging variable cycle engines introduce a third airstream into an engine, which can be controlled by the pilot, the SA explains. The new engines reportedly massively increase an aircraft's reach, fuel efficiency and speed. Fighter jet launched laser weapons, expected to be operational by the mid-2020s, are of course part of the planning for sixth-generation fighters. Targeting and sensor technology, coupled with advanced guidance systems, are progressing so quickly that ships, fighter jets and land assets can no longer rely upon an existing threat envelope. Simply put, all US military systems will increasingly become more vulnerable as enemies acquire more drones, high-speed fighter jets and longer-range precision weaponry all enabled by AI-fortified long-range sensors and targeting technology. This includes the emergence of advanced enemy fighter jets, ships, ballistic missiles and weapons such as land-based anti-ship missiles, all further necessitating the need for information and combat awareness in warfare. The pace of advancement in computer processing speeds, miniaturization and AI also promise to bring new things to air combat. Algorithms able to instantly gather, compile and organize ISR data and perform real-time analytics will bring faster targeting and attack systems to fighters. AI-enabled real-time analytics will, for instance, 
bring in ability to compare new sensor information against vast databases of relevant data in milliseconds. Information dominance, therefore, could among other things enable a fighter jet to both launch attacks and also function as an aerial ISR node. Operating as part of a dispersed, yet interwoven combat sensor network, a fighter could transmit combat-relevant data to air assets, ground-based weapons, command and control centers, navy ships and satellites. If a ship, ground or air commander has occasion to see or learn of an incoming attack at greater distance, he or she is obviously much better positioned to defend it. Perhaps, for instance, a medium-range ballistic missile attack is airborne, approaching land-based artillery formations or a carrier strike group, what might a commander do? Should the attack be met with a ground-based interceptor, jammed with electronic warfare technology, hit with a laser or thrown off course in some other way? What if a fighter jet, configured to function as an aerial node in a larger interwoven combat network, were able to detect the approaching attack earlier in its trajectory? From beyond the horizon? Perhaps the jet might itself be positioned to attack, intercept or dismantle the approaching missile, or at least provide early warning to the weapon's intended target. In this case, more time simply means more options to inform a commander's decision cycle. Referring to this emerging tactical complex as a combat cloud, Diptula posited that, for instance, an aircraft such as an F-35 could cue or alert an Aegis Navy cruiser about an incoming attack, therefore offering ship-based radar, fire control and interceptor weapons a vastly improved envelope with which to take out an attack. Thus, an interconnected web of attack, targeting and information nodes can better sustain operations should one node be destroyed, and sensor-to-shooter time can be massively accelerated. Time is of course of the essence when it comes to air attack, air-to-air -air warfare and any kind of air-ground surface coordination. Getting ahead of or inside an enemy's decision cycle, is a phenomenon long described by air warriors as completing the OODA loop, observation, orientation, decision, action, faster than an enemy, to win a dogfight. This is also one reason why hypersonic weapons are being pursued and tested with such vigor by the US and its major rivals. A weapon, drone or air asset of any kind traveling at five times the speed of sound presents a very serious time challenge when it comes to defending attacks. While the notion of man hypersonic flight is considered to be very far away, hypersonic weapons, to be followed by hypersonic drones, are moving closer to operational status. This greatly impacts the Air Force's penetrating counter-air program because a sixth-generation aircraft might, for instance, be able to fire air-launched hypersonic weapons or launch hypersonic attack drones. It goes without saying that the faster an attack or ISR mission can operate in high threat or enemy territory, the more its threat window can decrease. Interestingly, anticipated speed and range of enemy weapons and sensors continues to motivate ongoing discussion about whether dogfighting itself could become obsolete. Identifying, and potentially destroying an enemy aircraft before being seen as a key premise in forming F-35 strategy. While the stealth fighter is engineered to dogfight, its electro-slash-optical targeting system and distributed aperture system are specifically designed to enable early detection of enemy fighters. The concept is, quite simply, to destroy an enemy before you yourself are seen, potentially preventing an enemy from coming close enough to require a dogfight. This concept, in fact, informs the basis for a 2015 Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments study which found that future Air Force fighters might benefit from being much larger and less maneuverable. This would enable them to carry more weapons, draw upon more onboard power and integrate more heavier weight sensors, antennas and other key warfare assets. However, while an interesting suggestion, few are of the mind to think that any kind of 6th gen fighter would not need to reach unprecedented levels of speed and maneuverability.